Hello all. Today we'll be discussing about financial planning tips for housewife. With changing times and inflation pushing the household budgets go haywire, women both working and housewives have started taking keen interest in financial management and investment planning. If you're young and willing to take risk, you can consider investment in equity mutual funds. You may get returns way above inflation if you stay invested for at least 5 to 7 years. Investing in gold and gold jewelry has always been a favorite option in India, especially in women. Although physical gold can be bought in different forms such as bars, coins and even jewelry, this comes at a cost and brings in the risk of storage, risk of being stolen as well as concerns around purity. So, is there a way to get rid of these risks while investing in gold? Yes, sovereign gold bonds. These bonds have a tenor of 8 years with an exit option from the 5th year onwards. These are the safest way to buy digital gold as they are issued by the Reserve Bank of India on behalf of the government of India with an assured interest of 2.50% per annum. Bonds are like a loan that carries an interest or coupon rate and have a fixed maturity period. In India, bonds are issued by the government as well as corporations to meet their funding requirement. Bonds tend to be less volatile and less risky than stocks and when held to maturity can offer more stable and consistent returns. Interest rates on bonds often tend to be higher than savings rates at banks on cash deposits or in money market accounts. It's a fixed income product that is not risky thus will give small assured returns on your investments. Like banks, several companies and NBFCs that is non-banking financial companies are also allowed to collect deposits for a fixed tenure at a prescribed interest rate. Such deposits are called corporate fixed deposits. Similar to banks, they come with the assurance of guaranteed returns and flexibility of choosing the tenure. Plus, corporate FDs provide a higher interest rate than bank FDs, which is 7 to 8 percent at the time of investment itself. Financial literacy and prudence of every housewife is the need of the hour. This makes them financially independent and also boosts their self morale. Housewives should decide upon their risk appetite, return requirements, and tenure before choosing any investment instrument.